Hey, what's going on? Joe Coffey here for PremierGuitar.com. I'm hanging out with Nick from Black Label Society. Nick, what's going on, man? Yeah, man. It's all good. All good. Hey, we're here talking to everybody about their gear. Yeah, I know. You know a thing or two about gear. A little bit, I think. Uh, maybe. Uh, I try. <laughs> Well, let's start with the, the exciting news. You're about to come out with a signature guitar for uh, PRS, yes. right? Yes. Cool. Uh, yeah, I got, I got lucky enough to get picked up with them. And it's, I mean, it's amazing. I mean, it's just a, it's a, just such a high caliber guitar, and the people there are amazing. And, and it's, I'm honored, you know, to be in with Santana and Al Demiola and, and you know, like Mark Tremonti. And, you know, I mean, it's like, God, we got my own. You know, awesome. yeah, yeah. I mean, they 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 shipped me out ten of them, but then they actually made me one. I I, I believe maybe you can verify. I have the first PRS uh, double cut with a Floyd, with a Floyd Rose and EMGs. Oh wow! So I think it's the first PRS ever with EMGs and a Floyd Rose. And, That's and, cool. Yeah, I mean they did it. And, like whatever you ask them to do. It's, wow. Yeah. So, so uh, describe the look. I mean, a lot of people think tin top when they think of PRS, oh but God. they make some, you know, killer other well, other. They kinds gave of me a tin top, and uh, yeah, 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 I'm using it tonight. Like, I use this though, it's like the whole tour, and I'm like, this is like a, a ten thousand dollar guitar, it's and like I'm just art, up there yeah. beating on it. But, but uh, no, I mean, that they do have, like just just a just a. Uh, I've won that we call Scarface. We have staples in it, and we just banged it up. And then uh, the one I'm playing. Uh, the first couple songs is a white, a white uh, PRS, and my tech stand sanded it down and wrote an obscenity on it. But everybody thinks that that's my signature series, and it's not. So <laughs> families, can you can buy my signature? It's not going to say F you on it. But uh, um, but yeah, just uh, I mean, just the whole experience so far has been great, and, and we're just starting now. So it's, uh, yeah. What's your MGs? Uh, the 8185s, but I want to try 8160s. I just want to try like, different combinations. So, yeah, yeah that's going to be cool. What about uh, amps? For Black Label, I'm using um, I'm using the, the JCM 800 Marshalls. And, Classic? Yeah. Well, the Zach Wild models, yeah. and then whatever ones we can find. But for my band, Speed X, I'm using Fuchs. Okay. Fuchs amps out of, out of Jersey, and it's they're, they're amazing. I mean, yeah. there's... It, it's, uh, Andy's a technician. Uh, technician. Oh really. yeah. I mean, he like he made a Marshall just with. I don't need an overdrive pedal. It's just wow. it's just slamming, but tight. Um, and also, um, EV made me the first four cabinets. I have the first four Electro Boy stacks that that came out. So I got the first four Electro Boy stacks. And um, Fuchs made me my own overdrive pedal. It's out. It's called the Noxious pedal. So that should be in stores. And I got Dean Markley strings, uh, the shotgun set, I have a wah. And, uh, um, right now, I'm on his tour, I'm using the Zach uh, um, Overdrive, not mine. Because I, I still like really haven't tested it yet with his sound, but um, and uh, just a stereo chorus, and the, and the two heads and the two cabs, and that's it. It's real simple. You make it sound simple. It, it is. I mean, like a, a, a monkey can set my, my stuff up. It's just. But it's it, like it all comes down to it. like people. People always like they're like, man, I bought I bought two JC Manhunters. I got your guitar. I got the pedals. I don't sound like anything like you. And it's like you're not, <laughs> yeah, unless yeah. like eighty five percent of it's here. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I don't care who, who you know. You put Eddie Van Halen in, on Steve Vai's rig, it's going to sound like Eddie. Yeah. It's not going to sound like Vai. You know yeah. what I mean? And and it's it, it, it's it's all in your hands. And it's like. God gave you a bad right hand. You're stuck with it. You know, make the best of it. And, yeah. and but I can't remember the names, but I, I've heard a story. It's been floating around out there. Maybe you've heard it about somebody famous who was awesome picking up somebody else's famous awesome guitar, and they sounded like shit. You know, and the next guy picked it up, and sure enough, I think it, the story was somebody and Eddie. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. It was Eddie and Ted Nugent. Yeah, yeah. Eddie, because yeah. yeah, yeah, Ted was like, I don't sound like Eddie. And Eddie gets on. It's, like, <laughs> it's Ed. Yeah. I mean, you know how to. That I mean. Your rig is your monster. You know what I mean? And, and, and like, I know the breaking points. I know where it's gonna feed back. I know where I gotta, like, and somebody that doesn't know, they're just gonna come out and like, they're emailing me going, dude, you know, I bought the overdrive pedal, well, you know, it keeps screaming, shut it off. Real easy, click, it's off. And then it's not gonna scream anymore. It's like, you gotta have, like, when you're playing, you're gonna click in the pedal off at the same time, getting it clean. And, and I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of work that goes into it, but I mean, it's 
got to do it, you know, unless you have some, I, I don't know, I like pe pe people to have, dude, like their own switching, like their text doing it, like, do your own switching, yeah. you know what I mean, yeah. don't, don't be such a lazy, just do your own <laughs> shit, you know, but it, 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 but if, you know, how Dimebag had, had uh, uh, Grady, I mean, Grady knew that shit more than, yeah. I mean, he was, he was like the master of that, you know, if you have someone like Grady, you know, yeah. you know. Which is no knock to your tech. No, no, no. I mean, I, just, this is this is this is Stan's first tour with me, and he's amazing. I mean, he's done so like every day he's tweaking with my stuff, and like the, like the other night I was like, what did you do to my guitar? Because they play better than they have the whole tour, and it's like nice. nothing. I go, don't lie to me. You did something. He goes, no, I didn't do nothing. I'm like, dude, I can tell you did something. He's like, well, maybe. And I'm like, okay, well, if if you remember what it is, then keep doing. Keep doing. Yeah. It. That's the love. That's love right that's, there. That's the love. <laughs> well, Nick, so you got cool new gear coming yeah. out. What else uh, should people keep their eye out for? What's um, going on? Well, the, the Speed X project I'm putting together is um, we have a show the 22nd in Atlanta at uh, Hard Rock. Cool. And um, after that, uh, I guess Black Label is going to pick back up in July and us in Mudvayne and Static X. And so. Cool. So, uh, you know, we have today and tomorrow, then I'm off. So I'm not even thinking about a tour right now because I've been out for two and a half months. So I'm time to go home and go to bed. Right now, get some rest. Yeah, after, after tonight. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thanks for Thank your time, you man. I appreciate it. Right. I'm Joe Coffey. You're watching PremierGuitar.com.